And here's our next example of how, how to find the amount of product when you're given the amount of reactant. So in this case, we have potassium chlorate, which uh, with a little help and some heat, will convert, react to form potassium chloride and oxygen gas. Of course, this will not happen on its own. You need to uh, heat things up a little. If we're given that we have 53.6 grams of the potassium chlorate, how many moles of oxygen gas will be produced in this reaction? So this looks like it's a two-step process. The first thing, we're going to have to take the mass of the reactants and convert it to the moles of the reactants, and then from the moles of the reactants to the number of moles of the product. So here we have a two-step process. You always have to recognize which, step, which steps you need to go through to find the answer. So step one, we're going to convert from mass to moles. And so we want to know the number of moles of potassium chlorate. Potassium chlorate. And that's going to be equal to the number of grams of potassium chlorate multiplied times the ratio of the, so the number of moles per number of grams. So that will give us, of course, of potassium chlorate. So the number of grams will cancel out. We'll end up with the number of moles. And I guess I should just leave it like that. OK? And so when we plug in the numbers, we're starting out with 53.6 grams of potassium chlorate. And we're going to multiply it times the number of moles per gram. So one mole gives us how many grams of that? Well, here we have potassium is 39.1 grams per mole, chlorine is 35.5 grams per mole, and oxygen is 16.0 grams per mole. We have one potassium atom, one chlorine atom, and three oxygen atoms. So to find the total molar mass of that, so the total molar mass, we need to take one potassium, so one potassium, which gives us 39.1 grams, one chlorine atom, which gives us 35.5 grams, and three oxygen atoms, which is three times 16 or 48 grams. So when we add all that together, we have the molar mass of potassium chlorate. So 39.1 plus 35.5 plus 48 equals 122.6 grams per mole. So one mole of potassium chlorate is 122.6 grams in mass. So here we need uh, one mole per 122.6 grams. All right, so that's one way to find it. So that will get rid of the grams, and we're left with moles. So 53.6 grams that we start with divided by 122.6 grams per mole ends up with 0 0.437 moles of potassium chlorate. And that's one of the reactants, the only reactant in this case. All right, so how much oxygen do, do we end up with? Well, they want to know the number of moles. So we're converting from moles to moles. We just need to find the ratio. Notice for every one mole of potassium chlorate, we end up with, who is is this equation balanced? Hmm, I don't know yet. Let's quickly find out if it's balanced. So we have one potassium, one potassium. So this here, that looks like it's balanced. We have one chlorine and one chlorine. That makes it balanced. What about the oxygen? We have three oxygens here and two oxygens there. Hmm, that's not balanced. So the lowest common denominator between two and three is six. That means I need three here to make six oxygens, and I'll need two there to make six oxygens, which means that also we'll need to put a two there so that I keep potassium and chlorine balanced. So there's my balanced equation. Now I have a ratio. For every two moles of potassium chloride, this reaction will produce three moles of oxygen gas. So the number of moles of oxygen gas is equal to the number of moles that we started with. So the number of moles of potassium chlorate multiplied times the ratio of the number of moles of oxygen divided by the number of moles of potassium chlorate. But, all right, so this is equal to the number of moles that we have here, 0.437 moles, times the ratio oxygen 3, potassium chlorate 2. So it's a 3 to 2 ratio. That means we'll end up with one and a half times as many moles, so times 1.5, 
and we end up with 0 0.656 moles of potassium, oh, of not potassium chloride, but the end product, which is oxygen gas. And there is the answer in this case. So this was a two-step process.